Hey, Ry the Car Guy here, and today we are going to be replacing the brake fluid in our Nissan Xterra. Now, replacing the brake fluid is technically a maintenance item. Most manuals will just tell you that you should keep it topped off at all times, uh, but swapping it out is always a good idea, especially once your vehicle gets a little older or if you start to see some symptoms. Now, the main symptom you're gonna see uh, is a spongy brake. It's basically, you just have to push the pedal a little bit further than you usually have to uh, to to make the car stop. Now there's a few ways to uh, drain the fluid and replace it with new fluid in a vehicle. You can do what's called a gravity feed, right? So where you can go in and say, un undo your bleeder valve, put a little hose on it, and then let it drain out just using gravity and a lot of time. Uh, that's, that's one way of doing it. It's very cost effective. You don't really have to do a lot of, uh, a lot of work. You basically release the bleeder valve, let it drain, and make sure that the reservoir is replenished as it goes down. And then when it runs clear, you're done with that wheel. I'm going to be using a different method. I'm going to be using an actual vacuum pump. Now I bought a hand pump off of Amazon by a company called Autobody Nation, and it was like less than 30 bucks and it's going to allow us to actually draw the fluid out and it's going to be a much faster process. So if you want to do that, you can grab this here from uh, the link below and uh, just pick it up and it'll be a much easier job. Otherwise, you can just do a gravity feed and we can talk about that in a little bit. Really the only other tools you're going to need are, if you do are using a vacuum pump, are obviously brake fluid, right, because we're replacing the brake fluid. Uh, and you also need a wrench, either adjustable or um, on the Xterra, I believe it's a nine millimeter. Um, but you know, obviously if you're not doing Xterra, you just kind of have to find it, uh, find your bleeder valve and uh, determine what size it is. So we're gonna get started, get your uh, car up in the air. And uh, if you need some help with that, especially on the Xterra, you can go ahead and check uh, in the corner above and it will show you how to lift your Xterra properly but I already have it in the, uh, off the ground and the tire's off, so let's get started. Now I'd like to start by getting our pump ready. Putting it together is pretty straightforward. You have a little container where the brake fluid is gonna end up going. You obviously have your main pump, and then you have all your various connectors and hoses. Now this hose here, this is gonna end up going to our bleeder valve in the brake caliper, so we're gonna set that aside. We have this piece, which is going to end up going over top of the bleeder valve. This kit actually comes with three. So what we're gonna have to do is just size it first, you know, go down and just see which one fits the, the best before opening it up and then uh, get that one ready. But for now, we'll set those aside. We wanna get a few different things going. Inside, your, inside of this, this little container, you have one with a hose going down and one just with a little hole. Now this is where it's gonna come from the brakes. And that happens because you put this on and this is going to help avoid sucking fluid into this pump because you only want air in this pump. You do not want any fluid in it. So that's gonna come in here and drop down into this container, all right, inside the vacuum. So put that on, assemble it, and we have a second hose. Now we have a few options here. Now I am going to go ahead and remove the tires and show you uh, just to, for demonstrative purposes. And this would normally go, excuse me, this side, would use this small hose and it would go into the pump. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and be paranoid and I'm actually gonna use the second length of hose, the long piece, and I'm actually gonna hook that up between the pump and this container. Not only will it be easier to work with, but it will also allow me to ensure that I will not get fluid into this pump because I'll see it coming, right? You see it coming a ways away. So let's put that on, slide that on, and then we'll just kind of force it onto this piece. Sorry, we'll set that aside. There we go. And so now we have a vacuum action. So this will suck up. There you go, see? So the, the dial's going up. So we're creating a vacuum and that's gonna pull the liquid through. So now I'm gonna attach my other length of hose here. And then this side is what's gonna go on to the brake once we decide what, uh, what little converter is going to fit. Now before you go down to the caliper and start trying to suck everything out, uh, the system's already under pressure. It already has a vacuum in it. So you wanna release this 
This is your power, your uh, brake reservoir. Set that aside. Now, this fluid is very corrosive. So you wanna make sure that you're not spilling this anywhere. All right, so I'm actually gonna get a towel. I'll set this here and we'll kind of set it on here. But as, especially as you're filling, because when we're going through and we're pulling the fluid out, it's obviously gonna drop in the reservoir, right? right? So uh, you wanna go through and make sure that it's being filled because you do not want this to run dry. So uh, just have the cap off, have it ready to be filled and uh, set something aside, make sure no, no drippage or spillage happens. And then we're gonna go down to the caliper and start pulling the bad fluid out. All right, now we're ready to start looking at finding our bleeder valve and uh, start pulling the liquid out. Your bleeder valve is gonna be somewhere on your caliper or very, very close. Mine's actually near the rear, and I just need to pull off. This has a little rubber cover. You wanna pull that off. Now I have all three of my little connectors, and so I'm just gonna find one that fits the best. All right, now if you're using the same kit, it looks like the letter C is the one that's gonna be best suited for us. So I wanna push that into my hose. Very good. And then I just wanna put it on there and have it ready. Because the threads are actually behind. If you see here, threads are behind and you can turn those and you just wanna turn a little bit just to get the fluid going. So I'm gonna use an adjustable. Just have it on there. All right, so we have liquid flowing. So once, once it starts flowing, you just wanna start pumping, but don't create too much pressure, just enough pressure to get it to start flowing. Now you'll see that it starts to come in and it's gonna start filling up our container here. Now once this container gets full, you wanna stop, so you wanna let off the pressure. Now in this particular kit, the pressure release valve is on the bottom of the cylinder. So as you're pumping, create your pressure, all right? Just make sure everything stays connected. Create your pressure. But once you start to get full, if you click this button, you'll see that it very dramatically slows down, all right? That will give us the opportunity to kind of bring it up here and we can, uh, you know, or if you need to, seal off your reservoir to stop the flow of the liquid so we can swap it out. So continue pumping. And what our goal is to actually uh, keep pumping until it runs clear. So I'm very likely going to have to replace this little reservoir multiple times. I have to pour it out. And so what I did is I just set aside just a little uh, beer glass that I'm never going to drink out of again. And uh, I'm going to pour into that just to kind of hold on to it for me. Now we're going to take a break. We're about, I pulled out that much fluid out, all right, which first of all, it looks very dark and very watery, and I can actually see sediment in the hose here, which is not good. I can tell it's never been done on this vehicle. But we're gonna set that down, and I have something down. I just have like the piece of a giant box that I had. Uh, set that aside, because again, you really don't wanna get this stuff spilling everywhere. But I'm gonna go up, and all I'm gonna do is check my reservoir. If it's below max, which of course it will be at this point, I'm gonna replenish it and you have to keep replenishing your reservoir. Do not let it run dry, okay? Keep replenishing it as you go. All right, so I'm back and I've replenished the uh, fluid and you'll notice that when you're pouring the fluid in, it's almost crystal clear, it's very, very clear. And so um, this is my murky fluid, and I'm going to pull this off. And so we're gonna lose vacuum, okay, whatever was left. All right, and now this is still gonna feed, okay, because it's technically gravity feed. If you wanna hold it up further, it, it'll slow down dramatically, but in the meantime, it's still feeding. So I'm gonna hold that, drip it over, and then just pour it into my glass. There we go. Very carefully put it back on. All right, and now I have my vacuum again, and I'm gonna continue going with that. 
Now I'm starting with the front left tire and I'm starting with the front left tire because you're supposed to bleed from the uh, caliper that is closest to your cylinder and to the reservoir. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, then after this, you wanna do the second furthest away, then third, then of course fourth. Also have a lot of uh, rags around and uh, you know paper towel and make sure you're wearing gloves too. You really don't wanna get this stuff on your skin. Now you'll see a very distinct change in color and you'll see that this is lightening up a lot and uh, what's coming out of the tube looks clean. And so once that happens, you wanna stop pulling it out because then you're just gonna start pulling out clean liquid and then you wanna move on to the next tire. With it still attached, go ahead and tighten the nipple back manually at first and then just take your adjustable or your regular wrench and once it's finger tightened it shouldn't leak anyway so you can just pull that off there you go and then you can just tighten it down make sure it's clean and then put your cover back on once you're done with the first one and you go to do the other three the other three are going to seem to go a lot faster and that's because we've already replaced all of the bad liquid that's in the reservoir. So all we're gonna take out and replace now are, are just the bad hydraulic fluid that are already in the lines. So, and also, if you bought yourself a big container of DOT3 fluid and you said, oh, I went through most of it doing the very first, you know, doing the very first bleed, now what am I gonna do for the rest? I'm gonna run out. Well, you're not necessarily gonna run out because you're gonna be using a lot less for the next three. So just continue on each tire, on each caliper, and bleed it until it's clear. Make sure that they're sealed up, and then that's it, you're done. And you just make sure your reservoir is full and that you put the cap back on, and then go, uh, go feel your new, stronger and smoother brakes. Now a few things to consider for this job. Uh, safety first, of course, wear gloves, you know, wear, uh, or put something on the floor, you know, a cardboard box or whatever for any spillage. Uh, make sure that you're not handling the liquids, that the liquids don't get spilled inside the motor. Uh, just a lot of different stuff you want to make sure of. Just make, su make sure that fluid touches nothing but the area that it is supposed to touch. Uh, secondly, the bleeder valves only need to be turned just a little tiny bit. A quarter turn probably at most will get the fluid running. So you don't need to go, you don't need to unscrew it. And certainly don't unscrew it all the way. You'll have quite a mess on your hands. Uh, but just unscrew a little bit till that fluid starts to go and that's that's all you'll need to actually draw that fluid out But that's it. So once you do that your fluids replaced and you are ready to rock uh, As usual, thank you so much for watching and any comments or questions put them in the comments below and like and subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye